All right, in this video, we're going to learn about uh, the different types of faults. Um, first thing we need to know is that the fault line is the area between the blue block and the yellow block. This sur these surfaces here, where they connect, that crack is what we call the fault line. All right, the first type of fault we want to talk about is a reverse fault. And so in a reverse fault, there's something called compression, which means the stress force that's being applied, uh, the compression, is pushing on the two blocks. And when that happens, the blue block starts to slide up. And so that is called a reverse fault. All right. Now, uh, when you're looking at these two blocks and how you're going to determine uh, what the movement along the fault is, is you're going to look for the hanging wall and the foot wall. The hanging wall is the wall that hangs over the fault line. So if you look at the blue block, you can see how the blue block is over top of the fault line. So that would make the yellow block the foot wall. Hanging wall, foot wall. And what happens in a reverse fault is the hanging wall slides up. And that's the movement along the fault line. All right. Now, the other type of fault we have is a normal fault. In a normal fault, I'll have to lift the blocks up a little bit, the hanging wall and the foot wall is still the same. The blue block is the hanging wall, the yellow block is the foot wall. And in this case, the stress force is tension, which means the blocks are going to be pulled apart. And so what happens there is as that uh, tension pulls on the blocks, the hanging wall starts to slide down. And that is a normal fault. The last type of fault we talk about is a strike-slip fault. And when you have a strike-slip fault, there is no hanging wall and foot wall. As you can see, the fault line, the gap between the two colored blocks here, that fault line is basically straight up and down. And so if you were to put compression on it and push on it, nothing happens. And so what movement we can have, though, is we have shearing, as the stress force is shearing. And when that happens, these blocks can be slid side to side. And so your movement along the fault line would be side to side. Those are the three types of faults. If you have any questions, come and see me.